there, it's Sutonia here, and I just wanted to make a quick guide on uh, getting getting back to the gate with overloaded micro warp drive using hotkeys. And the reason why you want to use hotkeys is because when you, uh, first of all, you can't heat modules while you're still on the gate cloak. And also, um, if you if you click and do it, it's pretty slow. And also, um, the hotkey I use is the overload mid rack hotkey. I don't use the actual hotkey for the module itself. And the reason for that is I just find it's a bit clunky and it, it doesn't work all the time. My success rate using the overload key then pressing the module key is only about 80%. Whereas the uh, overload mid rack method, which is what I use, um, so far has a 100% rate for me and I've run about 30 or 40 camps doing this with overloaded MWD and my uh, overheated micro warp drive always goes off. And uh, if you want, if you want to change this for you, you need to go. If you press Escape and go into the uh, Eve Eve Options menu, and you want to go on the Shortcuts tab, and then you want to click on Modules. Now, um, I, I mean, I have my uh, my high power slot to one because that's what works for me. But you can use F1 too. But the the key I this you want to go down to the bottom here and set a overload uh, hotkey for medium rack. I'm not sure what the default option is. If the default the, the, if the default option is works fine for you, then use that. But I use this this um, key. I'm not sure what the name for this what this is. It's the it's the key that's next to number one and above tab. I think it's logical less than. It's one of the symbols on that, but it's not this symbol. But anyway, um, that's what works for me. And so then I can just press that, then number one straight away. And I get back to the gate with an overloaded MWC, MWD cycle almost all the time. So just to demonstrate this for you, I already have quite I have a, quite a few uh, clips of me, uh, you know, running remote sensor booster camps using this method. But what you want to do, if there is a camp on the other side of the gate, obviously I'm in high sec here, so it doesn't really matter. But you want to have your mouse here over the jump key, or you can also. Um, if you use if you hold down D by default, you can use the dock activate jump gate. Personally, I prefer to click here because it frees up my left hand a bit more. And uh, you just want to hit jump, overload mid rack, then your micro warp drive, and it goes straight away. And uh, the su I have a hundred percent success rate using this method to get a, a heated micro warp drive cycle. And I definitely think that CCP should add the ability to overheat during gate cloaks. It would help people who use who don't use the hotkeys. But if but if you do use the hotkeys, as you can see, it's just much cleaner. You know, I I get it every single time. I mean, this, this is what works for me. Maybe a, a different method works for you. But I found this is the the best method. Personally, it's the cleanest method for me. It works all the time. You know, the difference between an overheated micro warp drive cycle or not can often mean the difference between you um, jumping out or dying to a camp. So being able to perform the heated micro warp drive as soon as you decloak is can be crucial to soloing in zero zero, and it can increase your survivability a lot, especially since it's such a simple trick. But I still see a lot of people struggling, struggling to get this off sometimes especially if they if they click instead of use the hotkeys and uh, I'll leave you here just with a few few more clips of me running these camps these are I think definitely situations where if I didn't heat heat I would have died to the camps most likely or took significantly more damage